Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's up, guys? Yes, it is AEC, and I am back. I uh, have been absent for some time, hadn't uploaded any videos. I really apologize for that. But I want you guys want to see my power supply, and it is complete. I still have a couple videos to release, and you will see the power supply in all of its glory. So, again, I apologize, and without further talking, let's get right into the video. So guys, another update, we are further into the project, just like always, and we have finally succeeded to make our uh, front uh, panel and uh, fix the boost converters and I'll show you the setup in a second I did change one thing and I'm not happy about that but that is the only way I can keep the power under under control so let me show you the front panel and I will explain what have happened so this is the front panel and uh, as you can see, I have my main stuff I just uh, taped and we got some wire protection so we, it doesn't get damaged. So it's fully isolated from all the rest of the stuff. We have some wire protection here at the inputs. Uh, you know, this is our uh, usual uh, potentiometer uh, JST connectors. We have some input. A wires right here now as you can see the input does not go to the fuse anymore and uh, the problem is that I just cannot reach uh, the output uh, power I was going for so let me explain essentially uh, I have no way of controlling my uh, power output at uh, you know those higher voltages so when I get close to 50 volts the boost converter does a weird thing and it just burns the MOSFET uh, no matter what I do so I ended up sucking it up and uh, installing uh, the last pair of MOSFET that is pair number four yes I burned six MOSFETs already and that is the last pair I'm going to put in it I have some more MOSFETs in case it burns but it should not burn anymore and this is the reason why the input power will go through a 5M fuse thus limiting the output to 60 watts uh, not really the ideal uh, solution but I figured out at 50 volts uh, a 1 and something amps that should be more than enough uh, you, you know for electronics and this is meant for electronics purposes only if I need a higher power I have a different power supply for that so that shouldn't be a problem at all plus at uh, lower voltages, let's say uh, 25 volts, we will be uh, getting, uh, you know, close to 3 amps. So that is all good, uh, and that shouldn't be a problem at all. Plus we have a, you know, if we want more chooch uh, from this thing, we can always uh, use, you know, uh, the two ATX power supplies in... Uh, series and get our 24 volts 10 or whatever amps that is totally possible through this power supply so no worries whatsoever so that's it for the front uh, panel and uh, let me show you something else so this is the look oops the cord just fell out by the way i will be using uh this cord right here it's a half well kind of weird uh plug thing goes on the side and this is the really really sturdy uh, other end of the 
wire and uh, I like it so it will mount with uh, as you can see I already drilled uh, two holes in there it will be mounting with uh, some screws that should be just fine we shouldn't be able to rip it out uh, this is the two power supplies held in by friction I can move them right now but you wouldn't be able to move it when the top is on that allows me to pull it out without any uh, screws on the front we have two boost converters uh, actually let me move my camera closer and I'll show it to you so on the front uh, sorry for the light uh, I, I don't really have anything to um, shine on here so uh, so we have two boost converters here and uh, you know I, I had been taking those things apart so many times by now I'm going crazy so I had to limit the output otherwise we will be blowing a MOSFET every other day I just can't afford that so I will be limiting well I already limited the output for this thing so yeah uh, this is the wiring as you can see uh, the input now goes uh, through a uh, you know it's cut and it's going through uh, the fuse so I already have the wires it all had been already tested uh, with a proper load um, what else can I show you since the power is lower, I don't need that much capacitance, uh, so I might be, you know, uh, changing the values, but, like, the output would be alright. Um, I'm not sure if I need that uh, capacitance on the input. I might have it just as a feature to make it, you know, better, but we don't really need it now. On the back... Uh, I think I will have to simply uh, solder uh, to these connectors right here and uh, I don't know I don't really want to do that but uh, you, you know taking the power supplies apart isn't an option at all I don't even consider doing that that is not happening so uh, the only way is to actually solder uh, on there and uh, cover it up somehow. Uh, it won't be really safe, but you know that's all we have. And uh, the back uh, of the power supply will be open. Uh, I don't know. It's just too much messing around. You know, cutting all of this out and eh, you know can't be metal. I don't have a plastic that big, so it would have to be pieces glued together. Too much work, and uh, you know nobody is going to see the back of the power supply anyway. So only you and me will know that it's nothing on the back. But in either case, you shouldn't be touching the back anyway. You should be working with the front, and front is totally safe, grounded. You know all of the good stuff. Now I see that we are potentially uh, touching here, so I will be, I'm not sure if you can see it, there we go. So I see that we are potentially touching the metal here for the power supply, and that shouldn't be happening, so I will add some isolation there. So we are almost done. Uh, I just have to put it together really. And once I rivet the front, uh, that's it. I'm not going inside anymore. And uh, you know, that would be pretty much the end of the project. Because uh, we limited the power output. Now the MOSFETs are totally safe. And there is nothing to worry about anymore. So I will just run some cables, you know, hook up the front panel and uh, we should be good to go. 
So guys, that's about it for this video. You all know what to do. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And yeah, you're going to see some of my other videos on your screen. I really hope you click on some of them. And you'll make me the happiest person ever if you do. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.